all over the winter they were doing a gas mask review. Now the mask we'll be reviewing is the British World War II civilian one. Now, um, if I do make some mistakes in that video, please just bear in mind. Or if I stutter or if something happens, just, just, just think. Right, sorry. Just think, um, I'm trying my hardest, right? But anyway, this is the box. Now, it has a rope that you could. You can actually extend it in a way, because there's a bit inside. Don't know if that's what you're meant to do fully, but I just got this literally. So I thought, hey, I'll go on YouTube and record. So you'd either tie it around your neck, or you tie it around your neck. You'd either have it, right? You either have it like there, or you have it like there. So like a rucksack or whatever. But anyways, <coughs> this yes is the British gas mask. Now it has a name on it, John. That's all I can read. Um. So yeah. So you open. Also, just to let you know, this is not bad. Not in the best condition, it's got rips the box. The odd been ripped off. Some guy found this in his loft. But anyways. Take it out. Here you go. This is the mask. I'm not going to be wearing this mask called the filter. Contains a spare stuff. Pretty solid. Pretty neat. So, oh, fudge. Is there not a better way I can actually. Wait a minute. Right, so we're back. Right. Oh, my neck. Um, right, so, anyways. Have the mask, here you go. Pretty basic design. We have the filter here. I'm not going to be wearing that. Asbestos. Gives you bad lungs. What do my straps are ripped on this? I think I've got so short. Right. Yeah. Plastic. Um. Yeah, it's basically taped on the filter, and then there's like paper clips on the strap. So yeah, filter. Um. This is a pretty different filter cause, well, not different, but you can get like different kinds of filters. Like this one I'm presenting right now. Or you can get one when it's all green. Um, this one. To put that down as carefully as possible. And um, so yeah, it says here. A uh, lot two three seven O B. L and R R. C O, October. Uh, well, it says Orc, but October 1937. So, there's a brown bit around the glass. I'm getting sorted out. I'll go to show you. But, yeah, see, let's stop the mask for just right now. There's a box. Right, this is my replica of the gas mask box. Um. It should have this. I'm going to try to read this as possible. The respirator should be placed in the box with heavy end container standing on the bottom of box. Two. Care must be taken to see that the expirator outlet valve lies flat against the side of the box without the deformation. I don't know. Right. 
When we explode, I'll just cry for you. One, hold respirator by the harness. Two, put on first. Oh no. Put on by first putting chin into a face piece and then draw harness overhead. Join three parts of harness by hook and I provided. Take off by pulling the harness overhead from the back. Do not take the respirator off by pulling the container upward over face. With most masks, that's basically what happens. So yeah, this isn't the rarest British gas mask. I think the rarest is either the Civil Defence or the one where You know what I'm talking about, the one with the big holes, I can't remember it. So, I think it's, it's the U, no, not the US, what are you doing, you maddie? It's the, it's the, the, it's the army's one, so. Yeah, so, just to let you know, this is a large, so yeah. If you like this video, please like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.